In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to work with fill mode. Fill mode is a special mode that we use when we want to fill an object. So, for example, if I draw out, say, a square here like this, I go over to fill mode, which is this tool here, fill mode, I click on that, and you'll see in the second row of tools, all these tools come up. Now, I can click on this drop down here and I can say add a gradient fill to this particular object. I get all the gradient options up here, as you can see. I can click on this drop down and I can select, say, this gradient fill here. And this gizmo comes up onto the fill. And this lets me control and modify this fill, or this gradient in fact, in fill mode. And I can change things like I can, for example, make this a circular gradient, or a square gradient, or a conical gradient. Now this gizmo is a powerful tool. It lets me do many, many things. Firstly, I can change the size of it, and I can position it. I can rotate it. I can stretch it, and stretch it in both directions, and position it where I want to. And I can move these nodes about to alter the colors, as you can see. And then I get other tools up here. So if I wanted to make this node here, I move this node, and I want to make that yellow, I can just make that yellow like that. So the, while I'm in fill mode, I get these on-screen controllers. Now these apply to other things as well, for example, textures. So if I just put this out of the way for a moment, and come up here to say another square, and I draw that out like that, and I go over to fill mode, and then up to say, or to this drop down and come to texture, I then I get these texture tools. And I've got just the default texture there. So I click on this drop down, and I can apply any of these textures. So I might apply this one here. And again, I get a gizmo. And I can position that like that. And this is a perfectly repeating texture. So I can position this where I want. I can even position it off the actual object altogether. I have these sorts of controls. Again, I can rotate it. And I can stretch it and skew it. I can do this numerically as well up here, using these tools in the second row here. As you can see, and I can rotate it up here as well. So while I'm in fill mode, I've got a lot of control about how I actually adjust gradient fills and texture fills. I can set my colors, and I've got all these other tools down here in the heads up display, as you can see. So that's fill mode and how it works generally. Other tools, for example, is like I can make this a single tile, or I can make it a multiple tile. I've got mirroring tools and all sorts of things like that. So fill mode's a great way for editing and moving and adjusting textures and gradients and the like and it applies to anything that has a fill applied to it. And that's the end of this lesson.